Hello everybody. Today I kind of want to talk about the Bible. Because I have some theories that, you know, I believe in. So this is all my belief. Whatever I'm talking about, it's just what I think or what I believe in. Of course, you don't have to believe in nothing that I believe in because everybody have to have their own truth or whatever they believe in, you know. So you don't have to. Of course not. But I kind of wanted to talk about the Bible because... I have some issues with it as far as like you know of course it's another it was I believe personally that it was put out there to kind of control the nations the population in certain ways or so some of the stuff that's in there probably doesn't belong in there anyways so that's what I kind of want to talk about today just my own belief that's it I believe that, you know, everybody say God is a loving God, right? He loves us no matter what, what, what we do. You know, they call us sinners, whatever, whatever. But He loves us unconditionally, regardless of who you are, are and what you have done, you know, in the past. He still loves you equally as just another person. It doesn't matter. This person probably hasn't did anything all their life, but this person probably killed somebody and did all types of bad stuff but he still loves us equally there is no division as far as you know you know who he loves so what my issue with the bible in that standpoint is that if you look at some of the stuff that's in the old testament saying that god is a jealous god or god is an angry god because god was angry with this person or that person or whatever because they did this and this and that those are human emotions god is much bigger than that you know we're going to call it whatever you want to call it call him or she, actually it's not even a him he don't have a sex you know like we are humans we have we have we are male or female he both you know to me that's what i believe in but like i said it's all my own belief system that's all so why would a God that is so powerful, he created everything, would have a human emotion as far as I'm going to be angry with you because you did this and this and that. That's a human talking. That's not God. God loves you regardless of what you have done. He loves you unconditionally. So there's another thing that's also an issue to me. If you really know how the subconscious mind works, it works. It doesn't pick up do's, don'ts, shall not, do not kind of thing. So when I look at the um, Ten Commandments, it's all say do not or shall not kill, shall not um, lie, shall not steal, and all of that other stuff. But basically, and this has been really, really bothersome to me personally because that's another form of control and brainwashing and conditioning. Because if you really know how your mind works, then you would never use those words, kill, steal. Because it's basically telling you, since your mind doesn't pick up do not or shall not, it's basically you telling you, uh, training you to kill, steal, uh, commit adultery, whatever the Ten Commandments are. It's basically telling you the opposite of whatever it's supposed to be telling you. Number two, God never ever gave us, I don't believe the Ten Commandments came from God. P personally, it's not, it doesn't make sense. He won't put condition on you because you're already born into this planet and it's a free will planet so you make your own choices it's your own free will and of course at the end some some of the decisions you have made wasn't the right decision so you will be but to a judge but the judge not gonna be God the judge gonna be you you're gonna be judging yourself at the end and that's one of the worst things because you're going to relive the things that people 
that you have done wrong to that person you're gonna be feeling what they felt and that's really where all the the hellish belief I believe came from where you know you're gonna feel like you in hell because all that stuff is that you have done to others and you realize that wow what did I do that you know what did I do why did I hurt this person so bad just by saying certain stuff to them or doing certain stuff to them and it's and you're gonna put yourself in that hell position where it's really not it is a place but it's really not is a not a place it's not a place for humans to be but you're gonna feel like you in hell because you put yourself there you know through your mind because what you have done to others but that's another thing that not with the New Testament there's a lot of good things in the New Testament you know where Jesus is talking of course that's not his real name but that, I'm not gonna go into that but anyways um, when he's talking you know he gave us two commitments one is love yourself as you love your um, your neighbor or I believe that's what it, that's how it goes and and love your God with all your heart and all your mind which is that is your two commitments that should be there is no such a thing as ten commitments Another thing in the uh, Old Testament that's really, really bothered me is all these uh, animal sacrifices. It doesn't make sense to me. Why would God love like you to put an animal on an altar, slaughter it, then burn it, and then he smells a good smell of the burning flesh? Uh, that doesn't make sense. That sounds like Satanism to me. That's how it begins, where even with the... Uh, kids could start doing Satan stuff it starts with the animal they start torturing animals they start killing animals so ha huh, is that it doesn't make sense to me so that's another thing that I don't believe that should be in there or doesn't make sense that it's even in there you know so a lot of the stuff was man-made to control to control us and everybody else so this is just another video of mine that just point things out for people to kind of awaken and realize okay what is really going on here well what's really going on is you know what's going on the elite been controlling us for thousands of years I believe hundreds of years or whatever and they know how to do it very very well and of course your television is one of your and your media your social media is one of those things that they use against you to control you and send subliminal messages and different things to you to condition you to be a certain way so they can control you but those times are over I want people to wake up and realize what is really going on here and don't just sit there and take the Bible as it is because it's not as it is. It's not right. To me, it's not right. Maybe to you is right, of course. You know, that's your own belief. I'm just telling you huh, what I believe in. So, uh, there's some more other stuff. But right now, that's it for me. I just want you to think about it and, you know, go from there. All right. Bye.